guys, this is the first time in history we've broken down the same person twice, back to back. Rhonda, congratulations on the win, but even more impressively, on doing them eight weeks apart. Yes, it was my first UFC viewing, my first UFC event ever that I've been to. I got to cheer on Rhonda and Henner in the corner, but it was all great. I had a great time, except for one thing. The guy behind me was just drunk and just a hot mess and just screaming, just Oh, the whole time. Welcome to the UFC. Oh, seriously. <laughs> it's everywhere, you guys. It was a little controversial. Yeah. It was a little controversial. There was some controversy in this win. And we're going to break it down. What's up guys, Hannah Gracie, Eve Torres here at F.E. Warren Air Force Base in Cheyenne, Wyoming, an hour and a half north of Denver, Colorado. We had to drive yesterday, hour and a half in the snow. My snow driving skills are, are terrible. white belt. But more importantly than that, we're here teaching uh, the U.S. Air Force. We're certifying 100 instructors in the Gracie Defense Systems and uh, helping to reduce sexual assault in the Air Force. So. Incredible course. This is the beginning of a whole week long course. We can't wait to see what comes of it and uh, the journey continues. You guys. Typically, we film the Gracie breakdowns at home, but this one could not wait. There was too much controversy surrounding this victory of Ronda's at UFC 170 over Olympic silver medalist Sarah McMahon. Oh my. It was good. So what happened? The fight started, Ronda came in, blazing, guns blazing. Sarah came in, guns blazing. We thought it was gonna be this crazy 15, 20, 25 minute fight. Everyone going crazy until they clinched. They got against the cage. Actually, you're on this side. So she comes, they clinch, they tie, after a couple of knees, she ends up with a nice overhook here, and then Rhonda delivers the knee that actually lets it go. Ugh! Just kidding, I'm cool. I'm okay, okay. <laughs> just had to test my breath a little bit. Respect the liver shot. Though, That's right? what's up! So at this point... Wait, wait, just really fast yeah. from here, I think a lot of people don't know what even that was. Like, no, everyone thinks like a liver shot, a body shot, can't do... Do that to somebody. Well, that guy behind you certainly didn't know. <laughs> Clearly, it's very well known that a shot to the liver, a knee to the liver, can literally render something. That's you saw it. She just dropped. A yes. Sack of potatoes. And come a little closer. It's a little more intimate. It's gonna take a knee for a quick second. So this is where it gets interesting because, oh man, in earlier in the night. People were watching um, TJ and Mike Pyle get at it, and Mike Pyle was on top, and he was putting it on him, and TJ was down there defending and turning, give his back, getting punched a whole bunch, and people thought it should have been stopped much earlier. And in my opinion, because he was fighting, trying to get up, and he was really actively moving and trying to go, and it wasn't like he got hit and dropped like a sack of potatoes, they didn't stop it, they let it keep going. So his was more activity happening, even though he was very much inferior position, he was still alert, and he was still trying to make his escape, he was just getting punched in the face pretty badly while doing it. Rhonda's situation is different. And a lot of people thought that was a, they waited too long to stop TJ and Mike Powell's fight. That was fight. Herb Dean as well. Yes, and Rhonda's situation is different in the sense that Herb is trusted and, and trained to respond to that incapacitating blow. And because it was a knee to the liver, Sarah still dropped as if she got knocked out and hit in the chin and she just collapsed. I mean, it was not like a, oh, I'm going to go down slowly. It was a boom, oh, and she just dropped straight into this curled ball position right here, holding her liver the whole time. You can see her hand holding it while she came down. And I think more than anything, her responded to that immediate drop, which shows sudden incapacitation, and the fact that there were, you know, two, three, four uncontested blows that took place right after she dropped. Now, he stepped in, he put his hands on Ronda, he separated the fight. As soon as he did, Sarah's back, up. Sarah's back in the mix. And that's where the controversy was sparked. If Sarah would have stayed down flat on her belly, nobody would have said anything. But she kind of was back in the mix. And that's how the liver shot works. It's immediately incapacitating. And then give it a few, little bit of time, and you slowly regain, and you're back in the mix. But during that time, yeah. if you're not defending, Yourself. Right. That's what he has to respond to. At this level of professionalism, how many uncontested blows should Herb have allowed before he stepped in and saved her? That's the question that everybody's debating. What I think is that if the same exact finish happened in like round three, I don't think people would have called an early stoppage. Mm. Truthfully. Mm. I think just because it was in the first round and people were wanting to see like a war happen, that's why they thought it was early stoppage. But if this had happened after like, you know, rounds and rounds of like going yeah. at it, said anything so do you felt do you think they felt robbed of a long they felt robbed battle of a long war and battle they want to see but that's 
Well, well, here's the deal. Some say early, some say acceptable. I think Herb is still questioning himself, right? Because naturally, when you're on the fire like that and you gotta make that decision, some are good, some are bad, and you only realize in retrospect after the person kind of comes to. And uh, regardless of what anyone thinks, we don't think it matters because of what Rhonda had planned next. Check it out. Ah, yeah, okay, okay, we get it. We get it. We knew she was gonna do that. <laughs> we get it. We knew what she had coming. We knew what she had coming. <laughs> you guys, that's why it doesn't matter. So everyone out there who's angry, who's, you know, keyboard warrior to the death. We know you're out there. Yes, we know you're out there. It doesn't really matter. Because with Rhonda versus Sarah in this fight, the question wasn't whether or not Rhonda can armbar her. We all kind of accepted that, you know, Rhonda's grappling, and especially her armbar, is so ridiculous that she can catch anyone. It was just whether she can get in position to do it favorably. So it was a matter of can Rhonda get Sarah down? Can she take her down? She took her down with the liver shot. She was down. Yes, and had she not knocked her out or incapacitated her or got the stoppage, she would have jumped on like a little spider monkey. She would have done her north hug, she would have done her roll, and she would have ended up with the armbar perfectly extended as she's done so many times. Even though her opponents train for it day in and day out, the fire is too ridiculous. I felt it myself. I, I, I do my best to help sharpen it, the setups, whenever I can. But at the end of the day, it's, um, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's probably pound for pound, the tightest arm bar I've ever felt in my life is Ronda's, okay? This doesn't matter, jujitsu, judo, sambo, you name the martial art, it doesn't matter. I've never felt one like the one Ronda applies. So, what I'm here to tell you is, if you're angry about the early stoppage, put it away and leave it in the closet because it doesn't matter. Ronda took her down, with the knee to the liver, she was on top, and that's her favorite setup. Yeah. Game over. Game over. So for the last Gracie breakdown, we asked you guys, are you angry or open at the fact that Rhonda didn't shake Misha's hand? A lot of you guys said angry, a lot of you guys said open. The winner of the Gracie breakdown we randomly selected is a guy named Thomas Rad, and Thomas said he was angry at the moment when Rhonda didn't shake Misha's hand, but as he dug into the backstory of what happened between them and he really investigated it, he became very open to the idea because he said, well, at the end of the day, I wouldn't want someone to sacrifice their morals to shake a hand that they don't think deserves to be shaken. Whatever that means and however deep he was able to dig to understand it on that level, so he was open and our friend won one year subscription to Gracie University, all access, gracieuniversity.com. We want to give something else away, okay? Any Gracie DVD series, Gracie Combatives, Women Empowered, or Bullyproof. If you have kids, Bullyproof. If you have a wife or a sister or you're a woman or you know anybody who you can love or care about, you want to teach them self-defense, Women Empowered. And if you want to learn how to defend yourself against all the punks in the street fights, 36 techniques, most effective way, fastest way to street readiness guaranteed, Gracie Combatives. Amazing programs. You have to choose any one of the three. Now, all you have to tell us was the stoppage. Early or acceptable. And if you know what we know about what was about to happen to Sarah's arm, it was acceptable. If you don't believe us and you think it was early, we'd love to hear your opinion. Don't write a whole paragraph, because I watched the fight, I happened to be there, very close, closer than most, and I saw what I needed to see. Early, acceptable. And then right after that, put a period, and then right after that, put a DVD collection. Gracie Combatives, Gracie Bully Proof, Women Empowered. And when we choose you, we'll send you the DVDs. We'll announce the winner in the next Gracie Breakdown, okay? If we don't see you till then, know this. Toronto, May 3rd, the first ever Henry Gracie Super Seminar in Toronto. Saturday, eight hours, four seminars. You can do one, you can do them all, whatever you want. It's never happened before on Canadian soil. It's going down. We'd love to see you there in Toronto. If uh, you're interested, go to gracieacademy.com slash Toronto Super Seminar for all my Canadian friends. If you have to get on a flight, get on a flight. If you have to get a bike, get on a bike. If you have to put a backpack in, put your gi inside and run very far. To the border. It would be a perfect warm up. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, make it happen. We'd love to see you there. And uh, that's what we're doing, my friends. I am equally as excited, if not more, uh, to the Destin trip. With Destin? And Destin. Gracie Immersion Camp, mm. where every year, actually last year was my first year going, mm. but Destin, Florida, where it's beautiful and the waters are green and blue and 
emerald, like an emerald color. Called talk the about emerald the, coast. Talk about the squeaky and the sand. sand squeaks because it's so clean and so it's white. It's so, so crispy. Amazing. I yeah, we're in Cheyenne, Wyoming right now, so this sounds really good. But yes, yes we're all going awesome. down there. It's training all day. It's beach the rest of the day. It's like you know, hanging out with everybody. Um, and training at night. It's crazy. Bullyproof in one corner. Women empowered in another corner. Taught by Eve and Victoria. Gracie, master cycle in another corner. Gracie combatives in another corner. Four seminars simultaneously. The whole family training. Basically, when yeah, we're all done, we go to the beach. Vacation. Volleyball championships. If you want to win, be on my team. That's what's up. You ready? GracieImmersionCamp.com. Both the Toronto Super Seminar is about 60% sold out. We announced it two weeks ago. And the Gracie Immersion Camp is about 50% sold out. And uh, that one is in June. June 19, 20 through 22. Toronto's May 3rd. It's a one day. Fly in. Learn all the jiu-jitsu in one day. Take it home. Share it with all your friends. Just tell them who sent you. Much respect to you guys. Gracie Breakdown. We hope the next one we're breaking down is not Rhonda. Okay? We hope she takes at least three, four, five, six months she off. She deserves a break. Film some movies. Congratulations, Rhonda. And the journey continues. Cool. Much respect. Thank you for holding it down. Cool. Ah. <laughs> That's what's up. That's payback right there, homie. <laughs> Acai roots. More than a berry. A lifestyle. Thank <laughs> you.